Well, the anticipation is over, and now the big day is here. It's the final of the UEFA Europa League. I'm Derek Ray, and as always on these big occasions, I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and England defender Stuart Robson. We're on the cusp of kickoff. It's Aston Villa versus Manchester United. Well, Derek, this should be a top class game between two excellent teams. Whoever gets control of that midfield area should win the game, but I think this is too close to call. how the lineup looks for Aston Villa. Well, the wide midfield players and the fullbacks need to have a good understanding here. If the midfield players tuck in, then the fullbacks need to get forward into the space they vacate, just to give them some attacking width. And here's the lineup for Manchester United. David De Gea begins in goal. Bruno Fernandes plays alongside Frankie de Jong in the centre of midfield. And the starting role in attack is handed to Cristiano Ronaldo. It is the Europa League final, and they are underway. Promising sequence. And space for the cross. Fruitful looking attack. Now Coutinho. Decent position. Well, diving magnificently to make sure he got there. Corner kick played in. A decisive clearance it was. McGinn. And blocked for now. Well, he's gone back to give the free kick. The referee here. He tried to play advantage, but it didn't accrue. Can he make it 1-0? In it goes! Corley converts it! Well, here it is again, and they don't get much better than this. Right into that bottom corner, and no chance for the goalkeeper. Rolling again with the score line standing at 1 0. Cristiano Ronaldo. Nkunku has it. Bruno Fernandes. Good use of advantage in United's favour. Promising attack this. No way through. Ronaldo. 
on to Van de Beek. Bruno Fernandes. The end product just wasn't there. And the counter attack is on. Options available. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? Dinho. Coutinho. And they couldn't add to their advantage. Well, that would have put them in complete control. He should have scored there. And with play having stopped, a chance for the referee to go back and hand out the caution. quality defending Frankie de Jong Bruno Fernandes and taken away he won the ball and running through to the keeper Nkunku Here's Ronaldo, and that puts them in position. Jadon Sancho, and Kunku, and he read it really well. Fine save. Now the delivery, and the danger clear. Firing it in, and the decision is one of offside here. Decent this from United. Oh, a lovely ball. Oh, excellent timing stop. He's fired over the corner. On well, the corner, too close to the goalkeeper that time. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. Using his physical strength to make sure he doesn't lose the ball. Well, possibilities inside the box. Van der Beek. This could be the equaliser. Tenacious tackling. Excellent defending there. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. McGinn. This looks promising. Matty Cash. Coutinho. Oh, good technique in terms of how he struck it. Good officiating. Waiting for the play to stop and now going back to caution him. As far as stoppage time is concerned, three minutes here. And getting in there to intercept. McGinn and the keeper there to deal with it.
Who can they pick out? Well, it has come to nothing. And with that, the first half draws to a close. The quest for Europa League success and the second half of this final is underway. And the poor touch didn't help them on the possession front. And giving the ball away. Decent position this for United to find themselves in. Oh, maybe the equaliser! Oh, the equaliser! Just what they need! And the dream remains very much alive. Well, as you can see, what an excellent back heel this is to set up the goal. And he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. So the ball is rolling again at one all. Possession one. And the referee blows for a foul. comes to nothing in the end plenty of options making use of his physical strength to hang on to it Coutinho it's with Douglas Luiz Ramsey has it intercepting it intelligently Found the bank. Now we have 30 minutes to go. Nkunku. Happy to pass the ball, but remaining patient. Cuts it back. And I'll close down straight away. This attack looks highly promising. Takes on the shot. And the last touch off the defender, so a corner coming up. And United will switch things around personnel wise. Number 25, Jaden Sancho, to be replaced by number 10, Rafinha. Who's going to get on the end of it? And using his body to good effect and steered back under a bit of pressure. Cristiano Ronaldo. Nkunku has it. Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. And space for the cross. Van de Beek. Giving the ball away. Coutinho. Ollie Watkins. 
Moving it forward. McGinn. Douglas Luiz. Nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. And breaking at pace with Menace. How can they nudge in front late on here? But really sticking to the task defensively. Ten minutes to go then. Well, these Villa fans are making so much noise here. They believe the winner's coming, but it needs a moment of inspiration from one of those players out on the pitch. What a finale to this game. Rafinha. It's now with Van der Beek. De Jong. Here's Ronaldo. United might be able to cash in. Well, possibilities inside the box. But defensive efficiency there. And you need your defender to take charge. Van der Beek. Oh, he's really opened them up here. And still an opportunity. Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Well, that break looks so uh, promising, but nothing coming from it. They cannot be separated here, and it's on to extra time. It is the Europa League final, and they are underway. Now Coutinho. So away they go again. The first period of extra time, and it's legitimate to ask to what extent mental strength will come into this. Looking forward to it. Look at Dinia. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. It's there for him. Oh, yes! It's gone in! And now a chance for them to revel in the moment. Well, here it is again. And the defending simply isn't good enough. They have to react quicker, deal with the danger, and show more urgency. None of which they did, and that's the result. So they're playing once more. Can Manchester United elicit a response? Might be able to produce from this position. Douglas Luiz. McGinn. Firing it in. And blocked for now. Fred Nkunku and we will have just one additional minute Ronaldo and attempting the through ball A terrific defending to stop them progressing the first period of extra time is over 15 minutes left maybe after that penalties we'll see Well, the big question, who will come out?
left on top. We're into the second period of extra time here. Nkunku. De Jong. Ronaldo. Look as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. Down by a goal. This could be the final opportunity to snatch something. De Jong given away by Ronaldo. Breaking at pace. Will they profit from this situation? There's so many possibilities, but it didn't happen for them. Nkunku. Well, five minutes remaining in this the second period of extra time. Sanson. Ings. McGinn. And the body in the way. Using his physical strength to shield it. So one minute of stoppage time. That's what the officials have said. Kunku. He'll be delighted to have won the ball having made that difficult challenge. Free kick awarded then by the referee. And there's the whistle. This UEFA Europa League final has been decided. And my goodness, they deserve it. Disappointment on one side, but sheer jubilation on the other. Well, relief and joy, I would say. What a great achievement this is, and so well deserved, as you mentioned. They were excellent tonight. What a good performance that was. The party can certainly start now. That's a party to last throughout the year, I should think. They're very happy to be celebrating good times in the Europa League. And now the trophy awaits them. Well, these are always great moments for any player. This is the culmination of a great tournament they've had. They fully deserve this victory. Every player played his part tonight. This is what they've wanted. Now it's in their possession. The winners of the UEFA Europa League. Well, wonderful scenes. The players are making the most of this. It's been a great competition for them. And I think they have every intention.